Hi folks, welcome to the Money Mental UK YouTube channel. I'm your host Andrew, a man now desperately in need of a haircut, a cult leader, a part-time eBay and Depop reseller, and a mental health advocate. I nearly forgot my own introduction then. Anyway, in today's video, I am unboxing 10 kilograms of cycling jerseys. Bought completely blind. Um, these are a mix. They've, they've not been sorted. They're an unsorted mix. So, you know, there could be stuff with stains, rips, holes. You name it, it could have it. But there could be some real gems in there too. And that, that's what we're hoping for today. But before we get started, let's say hello to a few people in the chat. Uh, looks like uh, Lisa uh, was first in. Hi, Lisa. Tommy wants to go live cycling. I'll die if I do that, um, especially with the side effects I'm currently feeling from the, the vaccine. Uh, Chris is in. I have indeed had a shave. Uh, haircut is next on the agenda. Uh, Damien's in. Welcome, Damien. Uh, lovely Lisa is in. Hi, Lisa. Uh, Richard Hale's in. Hi, Richard. Uh, Chris B's in. Hi, Chris. Uh, Joan is in. Many other people are watching as well. Uh, hi, Leslie. Very well, thank you. I hope you and the uh, the daughter are well. Um, Monica is in. Hi, Monica. Uh, yeah, we've got some people watching. So, yeah, I've bought 10 kilos of clothing. I'm not going to say who from because I don't want those allegations about getting good stuff because I'm a YouTuber and whatever. Uh, I am not doing a try-on because I am now too fat. Uh, my diet of KFC and cider has made me very fat. That, that I am not recording. There's no videos are going. It's, it's not happening. Right, yeah, so I've got the box here. Let's, sorry, that's my lunch. Um, I've got the box here next to me. We're just going to pull out each uh, jersey. Let's see what we've got. There's 10 kilos. Cost me 90 quid. Should be about 30, 40 jerseys in here. Oh, as quick as it can. So need to be back to work soon. Saving the nation, but uh, yeah, all right. Let's see what we got. Uh, hi, Derek. Hey, lovely Tracy. Uh, hi, Dave. Uh, Defi deals, right? So, it's a mix of vintage and modern. So, there may be some vintage ones, some these, some modern ones. Uh, this is a plain yellow jersey with black in, it says it's a medium. Probably not going to be much in that, no branding or anything on that. Hope for some more crazy patterns. The blue one, movement session. I don't think they're a brand. Long sleeved. Uh, I'll have to look up to see if there's anybody in that, but it got a bit of a logo on it. But yeah, probably not going to be too much in that one. I just no, I've not bought any stuff from Louise. Um, it's all lady stuff, isn't it? So uh, I'd be clueless. Um, oh, this is a nice pattern. This is more like it. Nice, crazy pattern. Peace on earth. Uh, no brand or size on it, but I can measure that to work it out. But yeah, that's a nice, nice design there. That, that should have some money in it. So when the title of the video said live from the MMUK HQ, the fact that my stock is behind me, these are, these are big clues, Derek, big clues. That's the current location. Did it do? Oh, this is nice. Uh, they're not fans of putting sizes on these things, but this is Key West. Uh, a little bit of bobbly on it, but I'll come out with a shaver. Uh, easy walk, something green club, a little bit of a stain on it, but that might come out. It is barely noticeable anyway, so is it a stain? Is it colour run? Might be colour run actually, but um, but yeah, that's a nice one. Yes. Got here. This is one with some flowers on it. I don't know if they'll come up, but there's a bit of a floral pattern on there. 
Uh, that's Crane Sports with Saldi. Um, so probably only a few quid in that one. Be careful that stain. Um, this is just a plain one. Again, the crane, so it's the Aldi one. They still sell the crane stuff for about 10, I think. So I'll still list it. If they're the same size, I'll bundle them together as well. Um, to do. TCM, large. Just a bit of a plain one. Bike classics, it says on it. You see some more beauties coming up in here. Yeah, this looks good. Ah, stain though. Let's see if I can get these stains out of it. It's an Italian mix sport, but some heavy staining in there. So we'll see if we can get the vanish power gel on that. Uh, Mike sport rather than Nike sport. But yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice design. So if we can get that clean. Should be okay. Hey, Rosie. Yeah, what's this one? Put the out. Castelli. Don't know if Castelli's a decent brand or that. The Castelli Pro Line. It's clean. It's about the whites on it, so no, no idea. Don't know anything about it. Cycling jerseys, really. Um, it's got some nice patterns on it. Nice colour. Brown is very popular at the minute amongst the younger generation. Uh, so this should do okay. I mean, it's it's an Aldi one again, but should be a few quid in that one. Nice, some nice patterns on this one. AGU, don't know who AGU are, but crazy design on that. Little bit of bubbling, go off with the shaver, no staining. That'd be cool. What we got here? Bike fever. So yeah, bike fever, wherever they are. Giving me another one. Good condition. No issue with that. No idea if it's worth anything. Castelli is a great brand. Excellent. TCM, authentic move, a little bit of staining on that one, see if I can get that out, boom, bloody loads in here, what's this one, no brand on this one, Uh, says race on the arm, but it's a nice colouring on it, so hopefully, I get something on that. Oh, this one looks promising. The German one, Geimer Shaft Scare Craft Work Necker. Energy 2000 made in Germany. So a vintage one. Good condition. Hopefully be a bit of money in that one. What we got here? Nakamura. A Nakamura one. Don't know if Nakamura are any good. Never ridden a bike. No clue. 
Yes, Tracy, that is because I'm amazing at foreign languages. We got here the Florida one. Just bloody Aldi again. No, this is protective. Nice pattern on it. Nice design. It says 38 on it, whatever that means. In terms of size. So that should be all right. It's a long sleeve one. Torpedo. Styled by Gonzo. So I forgot what the Muppets have to do with this, but it's an extra large one. Look at the crazy pattern on that one. That's going to do well, that is. That's going to do well, that. Good condition. Don't know if the brand is a decent brand or not, but the design on that is amazing. A black and white one. Gonzo again. Don't know if Gonzo is a decent brand, but they've got a spell out on the back, so or logo on the back, I should say. So a little bit of marks there on the arm, but nothing serious. Should be all right. Got here. The out. The German one, but it looks like he's fell over a couple of times on this one, judging by some of the uh, damage to it. So, it's definitely a grade B one, that. We'll see, but it's a nice pattern on it, so I might still try and flog it on. Don't know. Uh, one Eon. Amber Red Marathon 2007. It's nice colours. People can pretend they've been on that marathon, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Christ, I'm trying to go to list these. Oh, not even touched this box yet. What have we got here? Bike, high sport fashion, cycling tour, performance winners cup. Cycling tours, pro bike. Looks all right. Oh, it's a nice one. That should be some money in that one. Yeah, I think I'm going to make my money back on this box there. And still a lot more to go. It's another this nice design here. Bike evasion rides, BCM, no vortex. Don't know. Just nice colors pattern and everything on that that one should sell strongly it can be chris has popped in it's your fault i've got this freaking clear what i'm doing it's another one b m b m freaking size these on it look at that pattern there that's nice that's a bloody stain on it uh, I'll have to see if I can get those stains out. But a nice design. Oh, oh I'm glad I didn't order more than 10 kilos. We got it's a bit of a vintagey looking one. Well, did by the cracking on it. I'm just going to put vintage in the title for most of them anyway. Uh, I think that says dynamics or something like that. But yeah. It's a black one with a white stripe. The whole bin, I have no idea. I've got some cycling jerseys. I don't know anything about them. I got carried away and ordered something that I knew nothing about. As always. This is a nice one by Bike. So that's really going to help me find the band. But, um, that is a cool looking cycling jersey in good condition. So, you know, maybe that'll have some money in it. 
Don't know. Fucking hell. Champ, creative fashion. With a long sleeve one. It's got some nice colours on it though. Don't know what uh no idea what value any of these are. Not a clue. That could be ooh, two esports. Thompson Holidays one. Why are they not put freaking sizes on these things? Oh, I'm gonna have to work out what size this is, but should be alright. Maybe even somebody who works for two e will buy that one. At least it's a brand I can put into friggin' eBay anyway. What have we got here? Fascination Future Fun. Big lower hole on the back of it. I mean, that's got to have some money in it, hasn't it? That's got to be worth something. Oh. Nalini, Nalini one, it's nice that, German one, but nice patterns on it. Yeah, it's just because US YouTubers aren't as stupid as me. Um, the German one, bike matching, but you know, that's a cool design on that as well, isn't it? All the sponsors on them, whatever. I'm assuming, I don't know, assume that, assume that will sell all right. Ah. Oh, this one looks interesting. Bike wear buffler, the German one. So, German could be Austrian. But look at that crazy pattern on there. Yeah. Any, I don't know what the strong brands are, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, I've had plenty of crane ones. I know that's Aldi. You know, German one. Fun house. Even got Heli Hansel on the side of it in German. Oh no, it hasn't. It's a arrow. Hello, Jimmy. It's a nice, colourful one here. We're assuming the colourful ones do better than the plain ones. Uh, yeah, this is at least. Uh, this is a Czech one. So yeah, there we go. Indeed, Peter. More clothing. Cycling jerseys. Bloody hell, not even. I'm halfway through the box. It's ridiculous. Another long sleeved one. Uh, Vittorio Vento Mike Motorbike. Not a clue. Not an absolute clue. But. I think I'm well into profit now, though. You know, the majority of them have been in good condition as well, um, which is really good to see, considering it's an unsorted mix. Uh, mainstream X, wherever they are. Anyone wants to go cycling and needs to buy a cycling jersey, hit me up, because I've got all sizes here. Hello, Lucas. Play one's 10 to 15 quid. Oh, fair enough. Be all right with that. Let's bang one for 15 quid and see what happens. Bogner, but not like Regis. That actually just looks like it's a, a polyester polo shirt. 
performance cotton regular fit not a clue Oh, yeah, I need to stop doing this really. Cave, cave, cave in line sports, crazy pattern again on that. That's really cool. Could the size labels have been cut out? Where do I know your name from, sir? Uh, probably, uh, yeah, that's all right. Nice bit of patterning on that. Sold one for 69 quid. Not seen it for less than 10 quid so far. Excellent. So basically, I'm going to make hundreds of pounds. Cribbit. So this is little. A little sports one. But again, it's got a nice bit of patterning on it. So. Don't think I've any issues selling that one. Oh, Christ, I can't believe how many more there are in it. It's like a never ended box. This has got to be a German one. I can see the German flag colours on it. Gonzo. So I presume Gonzo is a good brand then because there's been like quite a few Gonzo ones that have come up. Um, Look at that. Nice German one. Looks quite vintage. Quite old from the sort of colouring, etc. But yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool one. Yeah, that's one that's pretty cool as well. Uh, another Gonzo one. With like people running and whatever on it. Pretty cool pattern, it's just blank on the back, but just like yellow on the back, but that looks pretty cool. Nobody's coming live with me, Rasha. It's an unboxing video, not a chat. Uh, right, look at this one as well. Uh, I just like the colours on it, I like the detail and everything. I think that's quite a cool one. Uh, it's a size large, made in Europe apparently. But Vesuvio, Vesuvio on the on the uh, on the zip. Don't know if that means anything. Bloody hell! So oh, we're getting to the very bottom of the box now. Last few now. Thank God for that. Don't be adding this has. Um, How am I supposed to read that when it's in its Alex? Realm may fa. Don't know. Italian. There we go. Oh. Oh, another Aldi one. Crane Sports. It's very clean for a white one. Oh, no, there is a mark on it. That'll go in with the vanish. It looks like it's one that'll come out. I'm not. I'm not disappointed with what I've got so far. I have to say, I, I will make some good money on this box. Um, I can't even read that label. Uh, Dupont certified Cool Max fabric. So, no tracks in this blood. There's it. This is, looks like a properly vintage piece. Um, again, bits of bobbling on it, but that'll come off. But that Dupont Colmax stuff on it as well. Probably quite an expensive item. I would assume. Because Dupont don't give their name to cheap stuff today, let's be fair. And they invent two Teflon as well. Um, this looks all right. Future style it says on it medium it says future style bicycle race on the back but 
that's pretty cool looks like more than a medium so it's a us medium it's probably a uk large at least looks like an extra large really to me so it'll fit me that one but shall see it's just a couple more salotti gatorade one boom uh, so that's a nice vintage piece i think yeah i think this one will do well got all the gatorade sponsorship on and everything it's got to be some money in that one isn't there what have we got here and just a plain three-tone color it's free tone i think it's got three colors on it anyway just a plain one there it's got a few pulls in it but bang it on for a tenner that's it that's the end of the haul so i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, I've got 48 jerseys there, uh, there's only one or two that um, probably won't end up getting listed um, because of damage or staining, the rest of them, at least 40 of them will get listed. Um, at least 40 probably more um some of them will be worth about 10 to 15 quid some will be worth a lot more so if we assume an average selling price of 15 quid for them which i think it's probably fair um i would say 40 times 15 times 15 150 about 600 quid's worth of listed value there from 90 quid a couple of good ones will probably fly out rest sit for a while as long as like you know my as long as it pays for itself fairly quickly i'll be happy because then i can buy another box um that's my strategy at the minute i'll um try and sell stuff as quickly as i can from the box and then buy another one because i i'm impressed with that i felt that was um you know for the money that was good um it was seven pounds a kilo plus shipping uh the shipping was 20 is 20 quid up to 25 kilos but i only ordered 10 kilos to start off with because i didn't know how it was going to be and um, if i order again i might go for 25 kilos because the shipping cost will still be the same um so that'll bring the overall cost per item down a bit but uh yeah nearly boot season as well but yeah I, I, i'm happy with that they've, they've, they've uh, done a good job there they've got um for an unsorted mix, uh, it's better than the unsorted mixes I get from Syed. Three or four with some stains on. Um, 
maybe five or six at most. Uh, the majority of them are fine. A few that needed a little run over with a debobbler. Nothing new for vintage clothing. But I'd say the majority of that was grade A stuff. So I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, that's it, folks. I need to get back to work. This is taking far longer than I planned. But uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. And I will see you for Drink Andrew, uh, which will be tomorrow, uh, 8.30 p.m. UK time, which is about 27 hours from now. And so I'll see you then, folks. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.